Hi, my name is Bill Burns. I'm one of the FSRs providing HVAC technical support here at Wolf Brothers Supply. These short video tech tips are based on questions from you, the technicians in the field. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates and tips. So if your rooftop unit has options like electric heaters, a hot gas reheat system or a condensate overflow switch, you are going to need an indoor options module. Now, whether you're installing that or it's already factory installed, uh, you do have to make note of the fact that when it comes from the factory, it's, it's not addressed and an indoor options module needs to be addressed to 75. So a lot of the questions are, we get our where does this board mount and how do we address it and we're going to cover all that right now so installing the indoor options module is fairly simple um, it's in this compartment here which sits right in front of your gas ignition control And if you look here, this is the harness for your condensate overflow switch. And this is a coil sensor for a gas reheat system. We're just gonna mount this board right to this door. Now, if you look at this board, you're gonna say, well, that board looks just like the fresh air options module. Um, and reason being is that it's because they're identical. Uh, the only difference is in how we address the board. And once the board's been addressed, it does different things and communicates in a different way to the UC 700 as to what it is, why it's there and what it's ready to do. So now that the board's mounted, we need to just connect up our, that's our uh, condensate overflow switch and our coil sensor. Um, you'll notice all the plugs are basically all color coded. And this is our IMC cable or our communication cable. Um, you'll see that this harness here has a coupler. And you just need to remove the coupler. Um, the coupler is there because that communication cable runs all the way down to the uh, Fresh air options module just continues on through the unit and there are two plugs so the board essentially becomes our coupling so that it can continue on down to the uh, fresh air options module. Now you may want to hang on to that coupler uh, in case you ever have to eliminate this board or say in a pinch use this board. Uh, maybe as a fresh air options module, um, but now we need to address the board. So now we're going to address the indoor options module. And if you can see the two dials there, um, the biggest thing is no matter how this board is, is mounted or located, you always want the zeros uh, as you're reading it to be at the top. So our first number is going to be a seven. And the next one we adjust will be five so that this board will have an address of 75. So now we do have to cycle power on this unit. Um, and when the power is restored, the UC700 will then acknowledge uh, this board is in place and start communicating with it. That's going to conclude today's video. We thank you for watching. If you have any problems or any questions, feel free to call Ed Rundle in Medina, Tim Lane in Columbus, Corey Bosworth in Akron, or myself, Bill Burns, in Sandusky.